What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this right here you see is the Pixel 6 Pro, but maybe you've probably seen it. I think you've obviously seen it. Uh, Google went ahead and unveiled the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro nearly six months before its official release. Now, I don't know if this is them trying to get in front of leaks or whatever it is, but I wanna talk about the 7 and 7 Pro and share my thoughts about it. And also kind of not really compare because I don't have the physical device, but talk about should we start thinking about the 7 and 7 Pro when this is still out on the market. But before I do begin, I just wanna quickly talk about the wallpaper that you see on the Pixel 6 Pro. It's my wallpaper pack called Dots. I'll be leaving the link in the description down below if you wanna support the channel. And I'm working on a bunch of other new wallpapers and those are in the works and those will be coming out in the near future. Anyway, let's dive right in. So the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro they look fairly familiar to Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. And I think that's where Pixel 7 and 7 Pro is going for. Their design is great. They differentiate themselves, so when you see this device, you know that this is a Pixel device. It's not a generic slab of glass. This is a Pixel device. Now, the 6 and 6 Pro, they came with this new camera visor, camera bar, dual tone color finish, and Pixel 7 and 7 Pro is working on top of that. Uh, so they're going to have an updated version of this design and they're going to be pretty much having this horizontal camera bump uh, and the camera bar this time with the 7 and 7 Pro that you see on screen right now, it's made of aluminum that flows into the device's side rails rather than having this big black bar that cuts off at the edges like this Pixel 6 Pro right here. And the renders that we got from Google, they pretty much are suggesting that they're going to ditch this dual tone color on the 6 and 6 Pro, which it's like 50-50. I like it, but I also don't like it. It depends on the color of the device of the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. Now, Pixel 7 Pro is going to have a triple rear camera system like the 6 Pro, and the standard Pixel 7 is going to have two rear cameras, probably just the wide and ultra wide like last year. So pretty much nothing has changed. The camera setup is going to be the same uh, as with the 7, 6 Pro and 7 Pro as well. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get like any extra physical changes in the lenses themselves, but maybe just some software upgrades. Computational photography is getting really good. Um, but other than that, we don't know too much. We know that Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, they're going to ship with next gen Google Tensor. We don't know if it's gonna be called Google Tensor Gen 2 or Google Tensor 2 or whatever it is, but we know that it's going to be shipping with the next gen Tensor and with some camera upgrades as well. It's going to be available later this fall and it's going to be launching with the Google Pixel Watch finally. Now this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, but we're going to be getting a Pixel Watch. And on top of that, they previewed a Pixel tablet. I'll leave my thoughts for a different video of the Pixel tablet, but we're finally getting this Pixel ecosystem, at least in my opinion, as well as Pixel Buds Pro, that's a huge plus. Now. I'm really excited. I don't know about you. The colors are really, really cool. Uh, I especially like this, this gold and gray color hue to it. That one's really cool as well as the kind of lime Pixel 7. I, I like them. They're, they're not a redesign. They're just a refreshment of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. I really like this design and I hope that Pixel just builds on top of it. Now, I've been seeing a couple memes that the camera cutout uh, in the 7 Pro looks like the uh, pill shape compared to the new iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max and their renders of what they'll have on their front facing screen, or I can't even speak, uh, on their front screen that they're going to get rid of the notch and have this pill shaped cutout. That's pretty funny if you ask me. Anyway, uh, my thoughts about this, I don't know why Google did this. They previewed it almost five, six months in advance. Maybe it was, like I said in the beginning of the video, to get in front of those leaks. You know, we'll just give you guys the phone. We'll release the phone to you guys and show you what it's going to look like so you don't need to worry about it. But now, is this going to affect sales? Well, for most consumers, probably not because you know, if you're not a phone geek like me or you're not into technology, I don't really think you're going to come across this like 
frequently. You're not going to come across, oh, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, they've been available, they're gonna be released. I'm just gonna wait. So you don't need to worry about that for the general consumer. But if you're like me and you're into technology and you wanna pick up a new smartphone and you were considering Pixel 6 and 6 Pro and now you have Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, should you wait? I can't give you a guarantee answer to that, but if I were me, I would at least start to say, hey, now that those are unveiled, I should start thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth picking up the 6 and 6 Pro? Because if you get the 7 and 7 Pro, you're going to be getting Android 13 with at least three years of Android uh, software updates. I hope Google pushes up to four or five because we're holding on to our devices longer than ever. But now that Google has unveiled it for like a tech nerd like you and I, it's giving us kind of the incentive to uh, rethink our purchase that we make. Should we get this when this device is seven, eight months old or should we wait a couple more months and get the newer version? We don't know pricing, we don't know chipset, well, we just, just know Google Tensor 2 or the next gen. We don't know how powerful it's going to be. We don't know the other specs about it, display size. We don't know really too much about it. So that may kind of push us away from looking at 7 and 7 Pro, but just the fact that Google has said, hey, here it is, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, and it's coming out in the fall. It really does make us want to have fall come really quickly. And I know time is gonna go by really quickly and before you know, it's going to be fall time. Uh, but I personally don't think you should pass out on Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Uh, just because they're still really stellar devices. And even when those come out, these are still going to be really good devices. You're still getting Google Tensor on 6 and 6 Pro. You're getting a really good camera setup. You're getting a really good display. You're getting uh, this Material U Android uh, software directly from Google. You're going to be getting Android 13 on day one from Google with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. You're going, you're getting the redesign. This is the redesign. The 6 and 6 Pro are the redesigns for the Pixel lineup. I don't think you can go wrong. Even when its successor does come out, I'm pretty sure that these will drop in price. You can maybe find them on Amazon renewed afterwards for less than its retail price of the 6 Pro. For example, for 900, you might find it for 700. For the Pixel 6, instead of 600, you might find it for 450, 500. So there is, there is no reason for you to say, hey, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro was unveiled. Let's forget about Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. I think, I think this is still a great choice, a great device. And it's probably, it's one of my favorite devices of 2021. Uh, so there's really my take on that. I'm really excited to check out Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. And if you want to see content when the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro comes out, uh, be sure to super mad that like button, comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel. Best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and it helps push my content out to more viewers and I get to push out more Pixel related content like the one you're watching right now. Anyway, that's been it for me and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.